Okay, great to be here, everyone. Uh, let me start off by expressing disappointment in the fact that instead of having a conversation about race with two blacks, we're having a conversation about it with two white men who have appointed themselves spokesmen of the black race. What does the average black man on the street even think of two gay white liberals deciding the fate of their communities for them? According to Vosh, we wanted to debate blacks because black people are dumb and it would be an easy win for us. But I've had incredibly fruitful conversations with various members of the black community, from Congresswoman Cynthia McKinney to members of the Nation of Islam, the black hoteps. What was remarkable about, about all these conversations is that I saw almost eye to eye with them on everything. One important view I share with black leaders, from Muhammad Ali to Malcolm X to Louis Farrakhan, even Van Jones, is the hatred of you disingenuous white liberal scum. As Van Jones said, the white liberal is a bigger enemy to the black race than any Klansman. Muhammad Ali mocked a British TV announcer as a self-hating weirdo in an interview because he said he wanted the races to mix. Malcolm X accurately stated that Jews and liberals are cynics who pretend to be friends of the Negro in order to use them to increase their own power. I can find videos of Malcolm X praising George Lincoln Rockwell. Can you name any black who has ever said anything good about a white liberal? Sure, they'll fleece them for money, but blacks love the treason and hate the white traitor. Good for them. The only systematic racism in America is against white people. In today's America, between one in five and one in four blacks, a significant overrepresentation works for the public sector, a place that provides reliable middle class jobs with health care, paid vacations, and other benefits. Public sector, uh, public sector workers are unionized at a rate of 35% compared to private sector unions, which are 6%. The typical public sector worker gets 22% higher wages than their private sector equivalents. On the other hand, white people are 77% of minimum wage employees, another massive overrepresentation. These are the shitty jobs with no health care, no labor rights, and always dead ends. White overrepresentation among the working people is by design. A study released last year in the Journal of Experimental Psychology by Aaron Cooley found that when people are given white privilege training, they're far less, far less likely to empathize with the white working poor, while their sympathies increase for blacks. Is it any wonder why fake socialists who promote shit, white privilege bullshit like Vosh love to make fun of rednecks and hicks for their low status? Is it any wonder why all the bankers and capitalists are promoting white privilege bullshit? This is an ideology for oppressing white workers. It's no surprise that once again, capitalist Goldman Sachs simp Destiny and communist Vosh are fighting on the same side against the white working people and the West. James and I will proudly take a stand for our folk and for the pride of European civilization. As for the police, I got no love for the blue. I remember Daniel Shaver being executed as he pled for his life. No fucking congressional hearings there. I remember that murdering pig is walking the streets drawing a taxpayer-funded pension. I remember Jeremy Martis, a six-year-old boy shot to death by two fucking black pigs. He's now, one of them is now free. It later came out that one of the black men that shot this little boy targeted his father for assassination because he wanted to fuck his wife. So give me a goddamn break about this systematic racist bullshit. The entire system is anti-white. That's my piece.